Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Pinat Reports where I report on the unreported and today I'm back at Calderstone's Asylum Cemetery I have new information and I want to share it with you guys so thank you very much for tuning in if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and hit the wee bell to be notified of all my future videos now I've previously done a video from Calderstone Cemetery and it was about the forgotten babies of Calderstone's Asylum the Booth Hall babies and that they lie now in a forgotten field along with 1,172 former patients of Calderstone's Asylum while the adjoining cemetery where I'm at now is the military ho hospital cemetery with 33 service personnel lay and they lay in this beautiful pristine cemetery but if you haven't seen the old video I suggest watching that one first to understand more of why I am here today I'll put a link, a card up on the screen if you click on that, that will take you to the first, the first video. So I have new information, thanks to Dennis. Now who's Dennis? Dennis is a fantastic guy. He's a key player in the Friends of Calderstone Cemetery. And he has helped me fully understand why the forgotten field which is the former cemetery for Calderstone's Asylum why it lies in ruin why it's a state and what's happening so very quickly if you can hear a power tool in the background Forgotten Explorer my son and I are here today and what we are doing is have a wee look so I don't know if you can see the lich gate at the end the two chapels Forgotten Explorers outside the left one using the strimmer So what we're doing guys we're tidying up the plots of the Booth Hall babies we're cutting the grass we're going to get it all nice for them because that's disgusting I'm disgusted the way it is I previously brought them magical stones one each for each of the 13 Booth Hall babies now we're going to cut all the grass just at the Booth Hall baby side because we don't have the the machinery or the or the manpower to do the entire cemetery sadly and I would love to so we're making the Booth Hall baby sections nice and I'll go and show you the progress as we move along another thing and I need your help I found these plaques on Amazon and they're 15 pounds each and I need 13 of them and take a look on screen this is the plaques that I found now you can add a name the, the dates and a wee inscription I want to get 13 of those one each for each of the Booth Hall babies and I'll get their names put on it and I need you guys help to raise 200 pounds to be able to afford to get 13 of those plaques one for each of the babies I've started a Just Giving page specifically for this cause and I'm hoping you can help me with this guys if you can do not donate anything at all it would really really help us because once we've cut the grass and trimmed it and made it as nice as possible um, we're going to get the plaques and put one in each position where each of the Booth Hall babies remains lie sadly because otherwise currently it's a forgotten and overgrown bit of field in front of the two chapels in the Lich Gate and it's unacceptable so if anybody could help I'll put the link in the description to the Just Giving page anything anything we would really appreciate and help us raise £200 to get 13 plaques for the Booth Hall babies now on my previous Calderstones video guys um, I came here 
and it got shared on other Facebook groups and sadly there's some very different minded folks out there and they commented on the video when I was in this cemetery one lady commented her only comment was how did he get in there there was another comment taking the mick out of me saying why am I wearing a mask and an oversized hat now that was their only comments out of that story that was their only comments not the state of the field not the fact that 1,172 former patients of Calderstone Cemetery lie beneath a forgotten and overgrown field none of that mattered what mattered was my oversized baseball cap I don't get some folks sometimes guys it didn't bother me it bothered me more that they didn't comment about the state of the cemetery why is it in this state so just wanted to share that with you guys enlighten you a wee bit so i have some excellent information thanks to dennis and the friends of calderstone cemetery so let's learn more so guys sadly this land that you see here this land has now thanks to the, the local council around here this land has got full planning permission full planning permission and full planning permission was given by the local council for this land here you see behind me planning permission was given even though they know about the bodies that lie beneath it right and do you know what their response is about the bodies that lie beneath this field and why planning permission was granted the local council here said the bodies are not relevant that's what that's what the local council around here are saying the bodies 1172 bodies in these fields are not relevant so they granted planning permission now who did they grant planning permission to well i'll tell you the land was originally owned by a mr walsh mr walsh was the man if you remember the booze hall babies graves the wee beautiful white graves they had in front of the two chapels those gravestones were made out of a quite expensive stone called portland stone now that's the same stone that's used up in that military cemetery that's the same stone that's used in the military cemetery for the for the military personnel's graves a beautiful white quite expensive stone mr walsh the guy who removed them for health and safety reasons and said they were all broken up well i have it on good word guys the stones were not broken up the stones were seen on the back of a truck being driven away and there's only one reason mr walsh allowed them to go on the back of a truck driven away and removed and desecrated from the, the booth hall baby's gra graves and that's for profit mr walsh profited by selling the gravestones for the booth hall babies the white beautiful portland stone gravestones sold them now the land excuse me sorry now the land is actually owned by a mr and mrs gerard and they own a company and their company is called remembrance parks construction limited now what mr and mrs gerard's problem is is despite relentless communications from the friends of calderstone C cemetery society they have continuously tried to speak to mr and mrs gerard but they have continuously ignored every correspondence 
and what Mr. and Mrs. Gerard want to do. This is what they want to do, guys. See over there behind me? Now, this is the position where I'm at. Down that way, that's where the two chapels and let's gate are. Over this side, they want to build a crematorium. A crematorium. That's what they want to build. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Gerard's business official address is in Norfolk. 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 This is Lancashire. They're up, they're down there in, in Norfolk, living it up, leaving this cemetery in this state. Look at it. There's bodies beneath this field. There's 1,172 bodies beneath this field. And they want to build a crematorium over there. And because they can't, they've spit their dummy out and they've left the field like this. It's disgusting. So, the Bishop of Blackburn, if you remember from a previous video, he stepped in to prevent any more building work because it's consecrated ground. Sadly, the Bishop of Blackburn said he wouldn't deny another application to deconsecrate this ground. And if that happens, we can all say goodbye to the memory of 1,172 former patients of Calderstone uh, Asylum who lie in this cemetery, including the Booth Hall babies, including that. Absolutely disgusted, guys. I'm disgusted. I'd, it's almost like, and now I understand how helpless the friends of Calderstone Cemetery must have felt and must still feel. Um, it's shocking. Now, here we go, guys. I'm going to take a wee walk up closer so you can see what progress is being made. Here we go. Okay, that's Forgotten Explorer doing, doing his digging. <laughs> Look at this guys, so he's used the strimmer on this side already, getting it a bit, so he's getting it a bit more level guys. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to help once I've done filming, <laughs> I'm not leaving him to do all the work. But what we're going to do guys, we're just going to, we've, we've strimmed it, right, and then we've got the mower, and we're going to go over it, and we're going to rake it, and just do our best, we're not gardeners by any means guys, but we're just going to tidy it up, and hopefully, if we make it, if we make two hundred pounds through donations to the Just Giving page, we'll buy each of these babies a plaque, and we'll set it in the rightful place, so they so they don't get forgotten. So guys, I've just left Forgotten Explorer back there, right? And don't worry, I am going to go and help him as soon as I've done this filming. Um, but like as you know, um. There's a lot of forgotten memories beneath this field, right? And I read quite recently one particular story from a gentleman called David Green. Now, David Green was doing some research into his family history and he came across... In fact, let me look in here. He came across a member of his family, his aunt, his auntie and he came across her and found her in, in this field and I've got the story of about her here and I'm going to read it to you in a wee minute but look at this look at this in memory of the residents of Calderstones that's what that says there guys and look at the state of it chopped off chopped off is that Portland stone it doesn't surprise me so if this this have you seen the state yet guys all chopped off probably sold absolutely disgusted just look at this look at it So there's a grave over here and 
Look at the state of it, it really upsets me this Now look at this There it's there Now this belongs to a young girl called Constance Right? And I think it was quite common to bury, bury multiple people here guys In the same grave Because there's two other folks buried with her, okay Now look at the state of that Now I'm going to put a picture on screen guys Of what it was like When David Green found his aunt resting here And he got it cleaned up but look at it now So this is a before, this is now Now look at the before picture When David got it all tidied up Look at that, how lovely that is Now look at it now again Disgusting This is what's happening to the memories of this Not only Constance But every other member in this field How much more can it grow before it disappears completely? So I'm going to I'm going to read something here guys. I'm going to read you something that David actually wrote right and it's the experience of Constance who lies there. Now listen to this. Constance was a prime example of society back then. Now listen to this. Constance was taken on the pretense she needed help with learning disabilities and they were they were the only they were the only ones who could help so that's what they said you've got learning difficulties and we're the only ones who can help you so let's go after nine years in the institution she was still unable to read or write she had deteriorating health problems and suffered inhumane evaluations at the hands of vicious and sadistic doctors and one assistant matron. She came into the institution as a nice, pleasant and little curly haired girl. And she left being described as very ignorant, dull, very ignorant and dull and with stupid appearance, sulky and morose. The only photograph shows her as a broken individual. I'm going to put the photograph on. Who has lost hope, is seared and frightened out of her wits and alone. She also looked to be unloved and abandoned by both humanity and her family and siblings. She appears to have lost the will to live, at least under her present circumstances, and she sees no chance of change at the age of 19 years. Something went seriously wrong in the years she was there regarding Constance, which led to this tragic ending. And now Constance lies here, neglected yet again in death as she was in life and that's another story guys that's another story of another poor soul who at the time these places were the places that society said they belong these places are places that they could get help support but they didn't get help or support if anything, being locked away in such asylums made things worse in Constance, which no doubt was a beautiful young girl. 21, she died and she lays over there, Constance. Absolute disgusting. And that's one, one single story out of 1,172 who lie in this field. How many more? had similar stories absolutely a, such a shame guys I wanted to share Constance's story with you because I found a picture of her and I read her story 
and it goes deeper than that there's more information but i'll give you the kind of the gist of what her, her nephew wrote and it's heartbreaking that she went in full of life yes perhaps she had some learning difficulties but the place made it worse it didn't fix the problem and I bet it didn't fix the problem for thousands and thousands and thousands of other sad former patients of the number of asylums around the country so that's Constance's story so guys I'm going to head back up to the Booth Hall Babies section and check on progress and we'll, we'll see how this goes and we'll get it all looking beautiful so if you can donate the link is in the description to help get each of the Booth Hall Babies a wee plaque and we'll get their name and everything all put on it and we'll get them in position up here and we'll get it looking fantastic for them I really wish I had the manpower or the, the, the machinery to do all of this because I would I'd be up here every weekend doing this if I had the, if I had the the means but I don't sadly and it's a shame but I'll keep you posted guys so let's see what's happening by the Booth Hall Babies near the chapels let's go So guys, can you see, I've come up on the path and here is the side of the old railway wall and this path runs right along where the old train used to drive it's absolutely muddy as hell but can you see the wall? this is the old sidings where the train used to run through and it's going right up this direction so, absolutely fascinating um, the, the train would have actually run right through where I'm walking now absolutely incredible walking through history right here so I'm going to keep walking and see where it takes me folks so I'll catch up in a wee moment so guys I found what looks to be like in the middle of a forest it looks to be like an old platform almost and it's going into, I assume, the asylum grounds was doing that direction there or we're probably on the grounds here and this looks like an old platform doesn't it? because that's a lot of concrete just, the, the, you don't dump that in a forest do you? and look there's some like bricks and big massive bricks stuff here see them all um, and this is it from this direction guys that definitely looks like an old platform so this oh gee I nearly fell guys this could have been where patients for the asylum got off the train here and made their way into the asylum absolutely fascinating um, hold on, Forgotten Explorers just found something I'm just going to go around Now this is an incredible wee wood um, It's full of all crazy all crazy paths Now that's the platform over there I, 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 I assume that's the platform What does that say? Something about the platform Oh Look at this guys End of the journey 56,000 soldiers wounded during World War One came here for treatment they would get off at the platform ahead guys we found the platform and be met by nurses and changed out of their filthy khaki uniforms into clean blue uniforms such as paradise after such hell how must these soldiers have felt as they arrived 
fantastic guys we have found the platform oh my god i'm so excited for calderstone's asylum and it's right here this is history guys absolutely fascinating look at it this is it soldiers would have walked on this patients would have walked on this on their arrival at Calderstone's hospital or when soldiers came it was Queen Mary's military hospital and this hidden in this forest is the platform that they arrived on absolutely fascinating and I'm so excited to have found it I'm so I'm so excited just look at it incredible there we go guys we found the platform absolutely fascinating stuff I'm super super happy so we followed the train line the old train line down from Calderstone Cemetery and we followed the path all the way from where the tunnel went through the road and we followed the path in search and we found the platform here hidden so there you are guys we found the platform for the Calderstones Asylum when they arrived on the train absolutely fascinating <laughs>